Hey guys, Hot Rod 08 here, and welcome to Support Patch Notes 8.13, where I will be going over the changes that affect support champions for each patch during Season 8, as well as providing a place for you guys to discuss the changes below. So let's get into it. Starting off with the champion changes is Pike, who is overall receiving a buff this patch, but he has a lot of changes, so let's get straight into it. His health growth is getting decreased from 110 to 100 per level, but his armor is getting increased from 4 to 5 per level, and his magic resist is getting increased from 1.25 to 2 per level. His E, his Phantom Undertow, the base damage is getting decreased from 95 to 235 to 95 to 215. So at the uh, first rank, it's the same, but as you go up in rank, it goes down by 5 damage per rank, but the damage ratio is getting increased by 20% from 0 0.8 to 1. And then his ultimate, uh, Death From Below, uh, there's a lot of numbers here, but basically the gist of it is between uh, level 6 through 12, it'll be um, an increase of 10 damage uh, at every one of those ranks. And then from 13 and above, it'll be a nerf, but um, he's also getting a 20% bonus uh, to his uh, attack damage ratio from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. So overall, this is a really nice buff for Pike since he's not supposed to be a scaling uh, support champion. He's supposed to be one that snowballs the game, does well early in the game, and almost none of these uh, changes really hurt his early game, but they do help it. The ratio changes helps his early game as well as 10 extra damage from rank 6 to rank 12 on his ultimate will make uh, actually landing his ultimate just a little bit easier. So it's overall a nice buff for Pike. Next on this list is Tark, who is receiving a nerf this patch. Now what they're doing is they're lowering the base damage on his E Dazzle from 105 to 285 to 90 to 250. His armor ratio is getting increased though from 0.3 to 0.5 bonus armor. Uh, they are fixing a bug on his W, his Bastion, uh, which was apparently granting more armor than intended, so they got that fixed. And then finally his uh, Ultimate R Cosmic Radiance. The cooldown is getting increased from 160 to 100 seconds to 180 to 120 seconds, so 20 second increase at each rank. This is pretty pretty hard nerfs on Tark. Um, the base damage on his E um, is actually going to hurt from the get go. It's going to be 15 less damage all the way going up to uh, 35 extra damage once you get maxed out. Usually max out E first, so that's going to be quite a nerf on that. And you don't uh, start off the game with much armor, so you're not really going to get that uh, armor ratio until later on in the game. So later, later on, it might be just a tiny bit of a buff, but definitely early in the game where you need it, it's going to be a nerf. And then obviously his ultimate being on a 20 second extra cooldown all ranks is going to hurt um, how often he's going to be able to use his ultimate. So he's going to have to use it more sparingly. So it's up when he really needs it. So it's overall a pretty hard nerf on Tark. And our last champion change for tonight is going to be coming to Zoe, which is receiving a nerf on her W, Spell Thief. They are reducing the total damage ratio on her W from 0.75 ability power to 0.65 ability power. And then they're also nerfing the movement speed duration from 2 to 4 seconds to 2 to 3 seconds. Now it's not too bad of a nerf as her W is her um, ability that she does the least damage with. He, she relies more on her Q and E for her damage, so they're nerfing her W doesn't hurt her too much. And then also you usually rank W uh, last, so um, it, this nerf to her movement speed duration really affects like the later, later part of the game because at rank one, it's still going to be the same duration as for two seconds. And since you don't max last, you're not even going to be worrying about it until you're around level 14. So it's not too bad of a nerf for Zoe this patch. Moving on to some of our miscellaneous changes, the first thing we're going to do is talk about the Domination Tree, which is receiving a slight buff to the amount of ability power or attack damage it gives when paired with other trees. So what they're doing, uh, if you have uh, Domination with Precision, they're increasing the ability power by 1 ability power and then the attack damage by 0 0.6. With the Sorcery Tree, they're increasing it by 2 ability power, or 1.2 attack damage. Paired up with the Resolve Tree, they're increasing it by 1 ability power, or 0 0.5 attack damage. And then finally, with the Inspiration Tree, they're increasing it by 2 ability power, or 1.2 attack damage. Now, it's not a big uh, buff by any means. It's not like you're increasing it by a lot of ability power or attack damage, but it's better than nothing. So they are increasing... Uh, the base uh, stats to the Domination Tree, which is a nice small buff. The other miscellaneous change we're going to talk about tonight is the early game snowballing that they are trying to make uh, changes to. So uh, Riot has noticed that early game snowballs uh, 
usually decide how the rest of the game goes. Uh, they said that if you win the lane, you basically win the game, which is what I've been saying for a while. So now they're trying to make it to where if you win the lane, you're not just going to completely win the game, that you still have a way to get back into the game. They're going to do that a few different ways. For starters, they're going to change the death timer. So between levels 1 to 6, they are reducing your death timer from 10 to 22 and a half seconds to 6 to 16 seconds. So you're going to be uh, respawning a lot faster between levels 1 to 6, and you can get back to the lane uh, that much faster. At level 7, they're going to uh, change it from 25 seconds to 21 seconds, and then death timers level 8 and above are unchanged. Now to the bounty, they're also changing that. So they're adding a 2 kill bounty now, so instead of uh, just getting no extra gold uh if someone has two kills now you're going to receive an extra 150 gold and then if they have between three to six kills it's going to be increased from 200 to 325 gold to 300 to 500 gold and then at level six and above if they have uh, uh more than six kills it's going to be increased by 50 gold per additional kill instead of just 25 gold so when you shut down a person you're going to receive um, a lot more gold back for gain that shutdown, which is going to let you and your team get back into the game that much better. And then finally, the outer turret gold. Um, they don't want the gold to be shared around as much as it has been, so they're uh, decreasing the outer turret's uh, gold reward from 100 gold per player per turret to 50 gold per player per turret. So overall, this is what this is going to do is going to make it to where snowballing isn't as easy. Um, if you get behind during the game, if you shut down enemy champions, it's going to be easier for you and your team to get back into the game, which I think is nice. I think it's uh, been too hard for a losing team to get back into the game. So I think these are overall going to be healthy changes to the game. And last for tonight are going to be a few honorable mentions. Talk about Hail Blades and Unsealed Spellbook. Now, Hail Blades is getting a buff where they're going to lower the uh, cooldown of the out of combat from 5 seconds to 4 seconds, and then the maximum time between attacks from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds. And then on Unsealed Spellbook, they are uh, lowering the unique summoner cap from 8 to 6, but the cooldown reduction per summoner spell. Uh, that you use, that you change to a new one, is going to be increased from 15 seconds to 20 seconds. Now, these are honorable mentions just because there aren't too many support champions at the moment that are taking either Hail of Blades or Unsealed Spellbook, but that might change in the future patches, and if people start getting creative with their builds, Hail of Blades or Unsealed Spellbook might actually be a good choice now on a few support champions. And that'll be it for the support patch notes 8.13. What do you think of the changes? Do you enjoy the changes, the buffs, and nerfs coming to this patch? Please comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinions. If you're enjoying my content and want to consider supporting the channel, head over to my Patreon. There you can enjoy perks such as early releases of some of my videos, having me look at your op.gg and giving you suggestions, and having your name shout out at the end of my videos like these lovely people here who are already contributing to the channel. I have also just started the stream on Twitch. If you'd like to watch a high elo support player teach and answer questions while playing League of Legends, I am scheduled to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7pm to 10pm Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I feature support focused League of Legends content that I release on a weekly basis and would love your support. Please like this video as it really helps me out and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button to keep up the latest content that I release. Around that, you guys have a great day today. Thanks much.